welcome back to Banter Wars, the show where we take competitors from all around the world, throw them into a ring, and see who comes out on top at the very end. Today on Banter Wars 1.5, we have the sumo competition, the team trash contest, the weapons match, and the grudge battle. Plenty more amazing content for you to get your teeth stuck into today. And first up, we head to the sumo competition. Four more robots thrown into the ring. Who will come out on top? We have four robots each with lovely smiling faces on the top. We have Dux Ahoy, we have Adolf Jackler, the Rex Tano, and the return of Cyrex. Last week's episode of King of the Hill, can he redeem himself and become champion of the sumo? We shall find out. Let's get straight into the battle. So here we go, it's time to get into some sumo. Who will come out on top here? All looking rather cute and fuzzy and cuddly, uh, with perhaps the exception, exception of Adolf Jackler, maybe not quite so cute and cuddly. But now gathering at the end of the arena, Adolf Jackler comes out and starts to push his push. Dr. Hoy and Rex Tano out the ring, and now gets pushed out by Cyrex. That's such a quick victory. Cyrex has come out on top of this one. What a quick victory that was for Cyrex. Adolf Jackler comes in and pushes Dr. Hoy and Rex Tano out. Great strength shown there. But it took it too far, Cyrex comes in on the side. Perfect moment to attack Adolf Jackler half off. And Cyrex almost followed it down, somehow managing to stay up on top. But that was such a quick victory, and a huge victory as, as well for Cyrex. He goes into the final of the sumo, which will be in episode 7 of Bantam Wars 1.5. What a quick victory that was. Hopefully not all of them will be that quick today. That did go a bit fast, but we have got some great content coming up for you now including the Team Trash competition. And today, some good rivalries here. We have Belkut and AJ Pats, the troll team. Against them, Devolzpaz and Maria, the German. I know where I'm putting my money. Three, two, one. Off we go, Belkut and AJ Pats against each other. Oh, look, AJ Pats has gone flying. That strange tactic again that we saw in the... In the in a previous grudge match, AJ throws itself into the air with that unusual weapon. Maria the German then found herself on the arena floor flipper, but that robot is invertible and will work both ways up, so no problems there. The boss pass is going up against Belkut at the moment. Belkut with the machete weapon on the Toblerone base for the robot. Taking serious damage there from the boss pass. It looks pretty daunting already, that weapon on top of the boss pass. I must say, Maria, and German, Maria the German and Devospas look pretty spectacular. I see them as being the top odds for this battle. I think Belkut's already immobilized. Yes, it is. It's already immobilized on its side. And Devospas has caused major damage on the side there. And AJ Pats is on the edge of the pit. It looks like it could be over any second now. AJ Pats struggling to move anywhere. M Maria the German goes flying over the edge, comes back into the action here. Devospas and Maria German getting also awfully close to that pit. AJ Pats could perhaps push one of them in here if Lucky, being captured at the moment, held out against the wall, but manages to get escape. But is under incredible pressure here from Devos Pass and Maria the German. What will happen here? Maria the German has gone flying into the pit! Devos Pass not quite helping the teammate there. The weapon on Devos Pass has thrown Maria the German into the pit, and it's down to AJ Pats versus Devos Pass. This will be an amazing comeback for AJ if he manages to put Devos Pass in the pit. Two wheels are over the edge. AJ just has to turn around now, turn around AJ, go push him in the pit! And Devos Pass gets away, he goes flying! What's happening in this game? This has been amazing, I don't know what's happening, Devos Pass went flying! AJ Pass since stunned in the arena, Devos Pass lands back on the wheels so it's still safe, now drives back into the arena but goes on top of the hammer and gets turned over! It's been an amazing battle, everything has happened and somehow AJ Pats is on top here, my jaw is starting to hurt, I'm, I'm getting so excited by all, by all this, but Devos Pass is upside down, it can't self right, and AJ Pats out of nowhere has won this bout, I think, there's no coming back here for Devos Pass Maria the German, oh what an amazing battle it's been, and now Devos Pass is being counted out, and all AJ has to do is sit there and wait, Devos Pass out, AJ Pats and Belkut are through to the next round, of the tag team battle which will be in episode 7 of Vance Wars 1.5 there will also be a final can AJ and Belkut get to that final it was such an incredible battle you see Belkut was out very quickly AJ was almost into the pit Maria the German and Devos Pass putting on the pressure but Maria the German not a very controlled robot gets thrown into the pit by the, her own teammate 
And then to Voss Pass, almost in the pit. Ada could have finished the Voss Pass up there if it was a bit quicker. And to Voss Pass somehow went flying. I've no idea how that happened. And then a suicide jump from DeVos Pass, thrown onto his back and AJ and Belkut through to the next round. What an absolutely stunning battle that was. Probably the one of the best I've seen so far. So much happened in that one. And congratulations to Belkut and AJ for progressing to the next round. What's next? For our wonderful viewers, we have the weapons match. This is where we get four robots, each with similar weapons, to see who comes out on top to claim champion of that particular weapons group. Today we start off with the flipping robots. We have Spunkly, Golden Dragon Gaming, Queen Blaze and Barbie Face Killer all packing a good punch with those flipper weapons. Who will come out on top of this one? So for this one we come into the combat arena and off we go. The game begins. Golden Dragon Gaming coming straight in on Spunkly who goes up into the air. We're going to expect a lot of that in this fight with all these flippers around. Queen Blaze is on her back, not doing too well. I'm not sure if Spunkly's going to do too well here. The robot I don't think can self right and is on its side. Golden Dragon Gaming already having thrown Spunkly over now tries to throw Barbie Face Killer onto its back and is doing a successful job of that. Barbie Face Killer's been flung around the arena. Queen Blaze seems to be out of it at the moment. I think Spunkly's been counted out. Here we can see Golden Dragon Gaming getting underneath Barbie Face Killer on several occasions. Flinging her across the arena. I think this looks like an impressive robot, the Golden Dragon Gaming robot. I think Spunkly is now out of it. That robot has not been able to turn itself back over. Barbie Face Killer, though, seems to have gotten the upper hand now on Golden Dragon Gaming. I'm not sure if that one can itself right either. Queen Blaze has come back into it now, coming into Barbie Face Killer. But Barbie Face Killer seems to have taken out Golden Dragon Gaming from this tie. It's on its back. I don't think it's going to be able to turn itself over from there. Spunkly's already out of it. You can see the back there. But now it's between Bowie Face Killer and Queen Blaze. Now in the corner, Bowie Face Killer uh, somehow managed to get the upper hand on Golden Dragon Gaming. It is now getting the upper hand on Queen Blaze, trapping her in the corner. That robot can self right as we've already seen. It managed to recover from being on its back. But how is it going to get out of this situation? It's being counted out. It's being held in the corner by Bowie Face Killer. Now seems to be getting away. Can it get back on its wheels and come into effective action on Bowie Face Killer, which is an impressive robot? She still has to give it her intro. I'm not sure if she's even confirmed yet, so there is a chance that this robot will not be appearing in Season 2 unless Barbie Fist Killer can get back to me. But it is proving impressive. It's throwing Queen Blaze around quite convincingly at the moment. I'm also waiting on intros from Golden Dragon Gaming, and I'm not sure if I'm waiting for one for Spunkly. I know I got Spunkly, so we're all, like, we're all right there. But for now, we go back to the action, and Barbie Fist Killer's been turned over, and you can see behind there, the flipping weapons have come off the robot, which means it's got no way of turning itself back over. Somehow, Queen Blaze has managed to come out on top here, and I believe it has won the battle, unless something miraculous happens for Barbie Face Killer. Queen Blaze, who's been pretty much immobile through the throughout this battle being on its back as it is now, has come out on top. It's managed to turn Barbie Face Killer over, with the weapons off the robot, it's now being counted out, and as far as I can see, it's game over. Queen Blaze is the winner of the weapons battle, the flipping weapons battle. What a performance that was from Queen Blaze. You can see straight away, Spunkly was knocked out very quickly. Gondrang Gaming had a good attack on Barbie Face Killer, but it does have a weakness. It cannot right itself. It was put against the side by Barbie Face Killer, who was pretty impressive throughout. Queen Blaze kept her distance did what was required and managed to stay on its wheels for some of the time. It was able to self right and that proved a major part in it. Somehow the weapons came off Barbie Face Killer and that left the robot unable to self right when it was turned over. A good win for Queen Blaze. Congratulations. You'll be in the weapons match final in episode 7 of Banter Wars 1.5. So we have one more battle in this episode of Banter Wars 1.5. The grudge match. A very special grudge match. We have our resident Australian robot, Australian Bruce's Brutalizer from Series 1. And we have the resident Series 2 Australian robot, Sojin's Kangaroo with the boxing gloves. How very cliche, how very appropriate for this battle. Who will win from the Brutalizer or the Kangaroo? Crikey, mate, let's get down to the ring. Three, two, one. Off we go, and it's the Australian Bruce's Brutalizer against the kangaroo robot belonging to Sojin for Australian pride. And a, probably a couple of pints of fossils at the end of this. The kangaroo robot for Sojin has got the boxing gloves on the front. They're made of very heavy metal, and they can cause some serious damage. As, as you can see on Australian Bruce's Brutalizer, now being pushed against the saw blades at the side of the arena. Sojin seems to be on top so far. And is that it? It's the Australian Bruce's Brutalizer immobilized. 
The robot's smoking. It's not moving. I think it, think it is out of it. Sojin now turns towards the Observer Bot. The Observer Bot making another appearance in this, uh, this Band Wars competition. Can it take Sojin on? It hasn't been performing too well recently. Some robots have been beating it, but it's getting underneath Sojin, which is a robot that cannot self-right. So if it gets turned over by that Observer Bot shape, it may not be able to recover, and the Observer Bot is getting underneath. It could tip Sojin over. It's performed well to knock out Australian Bruce's brutalizer so quickly, but can it beat the wedge shape of Observer Bot? It's now putting the Observer Bot under pressure. It's pushing against the Observer Bot, maybe against the side wall. What can it do to beat the Observer Bot here? It has got strong pushing power. Maybe push it onto the flame grills, onto the pit, onto the drop zone. The Observer Bot, though, getting underneath again, and this one could go halfway. It's very close at the moment, very close. And now pushes against the saw blade and Sojin is on top. The Observer Bot is underneath and throws Sojin over. That could be it now. Sojin is upside down. And I don't think the Observer Bot stupid enough to turn that robot back over. I think that's it. I think Sojin put up a great fight against both the Observer and Australian Bruce's Brutalizer. It has won the grudge match. But I don't think it's going to be able to beat the Observer Bot who spins in celebration there. Finally winning a battle. Been a while since that's happened. Opens the pit now. Will it drop the kangaroo into the early grave? It pushes, pushes towards the pit, and the observer bot could finish here. It could finish. Is it going to push it in? And Sojin is in the pit. It's in, and another spin of celebration from the observer bot. Well done to Sojin, though. The Australian Bruce's brutalizer didn't stand much of a chance, even with the flipper weapon on the front. Those boxing gloves on the front of Sojin's robot are incredibly powerful. Too powerful for the Brutalizer, but the Observer Bot is something else. It is a powerful robot, it's hard to beat, and Sojin found that easily in this battle. It came out, tried its best, but the Observer Bot too strong for the Australian robot. Here we see the robot tipped over. Game was over from that point, and the Observer Bot impressive, dignified, and victorious. Well done to Sojin. Well done for winning the grudge match, and thank you all again for watching Banter Wars 1.5. It's been wonderful having you here. We have four more episodes to go before a final episode where we see all the winners from these competitions coming together and fighting it out for their respective titles. Thank you very much for watching, and remember to tune into Series 2 when it's around. If you haven't provided your intro for Series 2 so far, please get onto that now. I, some of, I know some of you who have made appearances today have not done so yet, so if you have seen your robot in action, please provide your intro and get ready for more Banta Wars! See you later!